Would you like me to make him go away for you? Jack! The following game is an erotic horror dating sim meant to blend disturbing and frightening subject matter with arousal and romance. Subject matter can and may include murder, gore, violence, psychological horror, emotional manipulation and abuse, and other generally disturbing materials. Players, please be advised of this and only play with full personal consent. Reproducing any of the scenarios in this game may constitute illegal actions. Do not attempt to seek out relationships of this nature. Murder, emotional manipulation, and other such actions in real-world scenarios is abuse. Minors aged 18 and under are unwelcome to play this game. It is illegal for minors to partake in pornographic and adult sexual content. Ignoring this warning actively puts the game, its community, and its creator in legal and ethical jeopardy. Mm. It's full-on raining when I get to the front door. Because why not? <laughs> the clouds must have rolled in earlier, but I hadn't noticed that until I'd gotten outside. Ah, oh, jeez. And by then, it was too late to run all the way back up to my apartment, unlock the door, grab an umbrella, lock the door again, and run back down. I figured, if I was fast, I could book it. My job wasn't much more than, what, ten minutes away? Ooh. If I ran and stuck to staying beneath the trees and awnings, I'd be okay. I was wrong. I was so foolish and wrong. I fling open the doors to Papav's Big Top Yogurtopia with enough strength to make a bear envious. Papav's Big Top Yogurtopia. 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 Mm. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> there you are. I was starting to wonder if you'd ever show up. Like, oh, sorry, I, I, I actually can't come in because, you know, I'm, I've died. I slipped in the rain and I'm dead. And I'm calling you from the afterlife with my clown husband. <sighs> I will kill this man. I don't entirely feel your pain, but I feel your pain. Yeah, um, sorry, you kind of caught me on my day off, you know. I, uh, I wasn't exactly expecting this. He looks at me, deftly, like he can't fathom how that and weather like this would affect my arrival time. Well, you're here now. That's all that matters. What a flippant change of tone. Why don't you go freshen up and I'll leave you to do your thing. Again, I am so sorry to inconvenience you like this. What was that about? You know, unpaid overtime is illegal. You could get sued for that, you know. I would have loved to give you more of a heads up, but you know, Carol really should have called me sooner too. Uh, if you think about it, we're, we're both caught up in this. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but I think you must perish. I had to come in on my day off too, you know. Oh well. Somehow, I don't feel like we're on the same level of inconvenience. I reluctantly head into the back, shake myself off, and throw on the garish circus-themed apron that completes my employee ensemble. The irony of it all, hallucinating a clown, and then going to work dressed like one. At least they don't make you wear the nose anymore. Not after an employee had an allergic reaction to the materials they were made of. Rest in peace, Angela. Rest in peace. F's in the chat for Angela. Before long, I settle into my spot at the counter, and my boss heads on out. I smile stiffly. I almost hope he sees how reluctant I am to do so. Mm-hmm. Got it. Bye. He can't leave soon enough. With the tink of the doorbell, he's gone. And then it's just me and the rain. <laughs> me, the rain, and Jack. Well, it looks like I'm gonna be stuck here for a while. Are you sure you don't, like, have anything else you'd rather be doing? It feels weird to have him just there, standing there, and not able to do anything, really. I want to feel bad, but what else can I do? Send him home? Have him wait for me there? He perches on the counter next to me, cheerfully, though. It washes away some of my worry. And leave you all by yourself? What kind of a friend would I be if I did that? He seemed back to his chipper self. 
His chipper, naive self. Now that the rushing and the rain and all that had passed, I find my mind drifting back to the strangely intimate moment that happened not even an hour earlier. My cheeks begin to burn as I realize and remember. Did that really happen? I... I think it did. He was so warm and, for a second, maybe more, I needed him. What would have happened if my boss hadn't called? Well, if he hadn't called, I would have had to begin censoring stuff. Ahahaha, <laughs> YouTube. I see him now, looking so kindly and innocent. My blood is hot and cold in my veins at the same time. It's okay, you know. It's okay to what? It's okay to feel that way about someone. Feel what way? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't I don't know what you could be referring to, Mr. Jack, Miss, Mr. Sunny Day. To like having them around and to want them, it's very normal. Want? Sometimes you'll meet people in your life who are very special to you, and you'll like being around them, and you'll want to be around them a lot. It's nothing to be afraid of. That feeling is called love. Oh. Love. <laughs> love? He chuckles nonchalantly, like he didn't just drop the L word. Like he didn't just... You... You... You go around saying the L word? Oh, you're gonna get us all demonetized! Saying the L word. Oh, I feel my chest get tight. I sputter. Dude, you can't just... Wait. Do you even know what that word means? Love? Of course I know what love is, silly. Love is when someone and you just fit. It's like having a best friend who you want to be friends with forever. You mean like you, Jack? What are you trying to say, Jack? It's special and it makes you feel good in your heart. That is a very child-friendly way of putting it. But it works. I mean, he was a children's show host, so you gotta learn, you gotta learn how to talk the talk and walk the walk in the clown shoes. Okay, so you do know. Mm-hmm. Understanding feelings isn't always easy, but that's why I'm here. I can help you understand them. Uh-huh. I am not feeling love. Talk about yourself, me. <laughs> no? A absolutely not. And even if I was, what would I be loving? It's not like I like, like any body b, b baka Do you love me? I forgot about that line was in there and it was just uh, 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 Said the L word! You said the L word, you said it again! Herc! I have to stop myself from being winded by the bluntness of his question. You can't just ask that. Can you just ask that? He just stands there, menacingly, <laughs> looking cool as a cucumber, looking like he didn't just drop a bomb on me while staring expectantly. Jack, how could you? How could you do this to me? I'm working. In front of my yogurt, Jack? What do I even say to that? If you do, it's okay. Mm -mm. Love is a good feeling to have. Why wouldn't I want you to feel it? Love is a strong feeling, more like. It's, it's complicated, and it means a lot more than feeling good. It's complicated sometimes, that is true. It's not always easy to understand all at once because of that. You're very smart. I'm glad you understand these things. You're just saying that to butter me up, aren't you? I trust you if you say that it's not. But if you think it is, you can tell me. I'll be here for you either way. I just want what's best for you. What's best for me? Is this really what's best for me? I almost shudder at the thought. I don't feel like I really deserve that kind of attention, you know? It doesn't feel natural to have somebody just ask you to consider that. But it feels good, too. Stop it! With the phones! Wait, did somebody call you at this part? 
Oh dear, is this new? Today, answering phones as they ring seems to be a dud choice, and I really shouldn't be answering my phone on the clock. But then again, I'm alone, and it's freaking storming outside. Who's going to come and eat frozen yogurt at a time of day in this weather? Not a single person, that's who. Jack looks at me expectantly. I just kind of meekly shrug. Aww. I, I should answer this. I mean, I technically shouldn't, but... Hey, it's okay. I'll be right here, okay? He almost seems to be granting me permission again, and I accept once he bequeaths this blessing upon me. Oh, is that what the uniforms look like? Cute. I want to wear that. I'd totally wear that. I pop into the back room real quick. There's a part of the kitchen where the cameras don't reach, and everybody knows about it. Usually it's used for sorting and chopping yogurt toppings or making it with co-workers. I'd say a phone call isn't the worst thing that's happened here, so it's probably all right, right? Yellow. Hello? You... you actually picked up. Oh, it's you. How have you been? I've been really busy being dumped. You know, after you dumped me. Actually, no, I think I did the dumping in this situation, if this is indeed Ian. My blood runs cold when I realize the Pandora's box I've just opened. Mailed. I can't hang up now, can I? I kind of want to. Maybe I can break my phone, throw it on the ground, or crush it with my hands. Stupid, I was so stupid. I was happy and stupid, and I completely forgot about him. Ian? No, Espoir, don't say his name. Hang up the phone. Or or change your voice. Start talking in an accent he doesn't understand. Bonjour, monsieur. Uh... Est-ce que vous comprenez le français, monsieur? Yeah. Yeah. It's... It's me. Like, I don't even know this guy. I just know that he apparently cheated on me, and we dumped him, and it's very painful for the character. So I'm I'm starting out not liking Ian. I am straight up not liking this guy. I do not like I I Ian right now. He's, he's on my poo list. He's on my poo-poo list. Shit. Sorry. I haven't heard your voice in so long. You're also starting to sound like my other boyfriend. I'm fine. I- I'm fine. I said, you know, like a liar. <laughs> Anytime I hear a joke like that, that- that just kills me. I- I think it was John Mulaney who did that. You know, like a liar. What are you doing calling me right now? I'm at work. You really shouldn't be- I know. I know. I didn't actually think you'd pick up this time. Well, technically, he wouldn't know that I'm at work. Um, also, you just gave away your position, me. I can hear bell chimes and people in the background. They're muffled, but he's definitely not at home. Where are you? Uh, I'm, I'm at the airport. It's actually why I wanted to talk to you. Oh, you're leaving? Okay, bye! Bye! Consider me lucky, I guess. That you answered, I mean. I didn't actually mean to, you know. I'm not surprised. I'm still mad at you. I'm still mad at you. I don't even know you and I'm mad at you. Get out of here, fella. I know. We can't keep doing this. I'm... I'm trying to move on. I don't need this in my life right now. I got a good thing going on. I got a clown boyfriend now. Move on? You're moving on? You're not seeing anyone new, are you? So what if I am? That's... that's none of your business, is it? It kind of is. I want it to be. Look, I'm about to fix all of this. I promise. Mm-hmm. I don't think you really can. I'm going to try anyway. I've known you for how long now? I've known that. This is worse than anything we've been through. And it's 100% my fault. But please, don't throw me out yet. Even if I deserve it. 
Eh, maybe I'll save mercy for you on, like, the fourth playthrough or something. You're what I want. And you're all that I want. I'll be there to show you soon. Okay, half of the, uh, sounding like half of all the Yandiri boys I've met along the way. Bye, Ian. You gave away your position, me. He knows where you are now. I need a second. Leaning against the cold, stainless steel counter, I feel about to crumble. Oh, too sick to work. Gotta go home. I was doing so well to forget. Are you okay? Just cry into his chest. Mailed. I don't want him to see me like this. I hastily wipe my eyes of all leakage and try to straighten up. No, I wasn't I wasn't crying. These are frustration tears. Frustration frustration tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'm okay. You shouldn't lie, it's not good for you. <laughs> don't call me out like this, Jack. That and you're also not very good at it either. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I will exercise you. Don't don't make me call the Ghostbusters, sir. I stifle a chuckle of my own. It's not a lie. It just hasn't happened yet. Give me a bit. I'll be okay. That seemed to make Jack feel a little better. All right. I'll take your word for it. But, you know, I like hearing your truths. They make you... you. Hmm. And I'm telling the truth when I say, I'll be here for you whether you're okay or not. Again, Jack, is that a promise or a threat? Because uh, given the nature and rating of this game, I think that's a threat. Or I guess given uh, how I play this game. I'm not going anywhere. Threat? You can trust me. The softness of his gaze is almost enough to melt me, but when he caresses my cheek supportively, my heart jumps into my throat. I felt so bad for so long. I almost feel guilty how he seems to make it all just disappear. How I think I... Maybe I might just... No. No! Something isn't right about this. I feel for him, but... Something about this is too good. Oh, I won't use him as a bandage to cover up the feelings I don't want to feel. And so soon after Ian. What's wrong? I see there's this guy and he cheated on me and we broke up and he's been trying to call me. Did I do something? You seem upset. He's like a giant Labrador. Am I not the good boy? Jack's hold lingers, even tightening a small bit. But I gently take his hands into mine and away from my face. You're fine. I'm just dealing with a lot right now. I can help you then. Just tell me what you want. What you need. He looks like a kicked puppy now. I hate to rebuff him, especially with how intimate things got earlier. But I haven't heard Ian's voice in so long. I don't feel very good right now. Mm. I hear the front door open. Customers, probably. We aren't scheduled for any health inspections that I know of. I shove my phone into my pocket and shake off the dampened mood. No time to feel sorry for myself. Corporate capitalism demands mandatory smiles. <laughs> That's a great line. When I get out onto the floor, I see three guys idling around the yogurt dispensers. Mmm, now I kinda want some yogurt. It's three guys, normal guys. As per company policy, I am duty-bound to greet them. Welcome one, welcome all to Popov's Big Top Yogatopia! <laughs> it's so lame. I pray to every, any, and all gods, that they're so preoccupied looking at frozen yogurt flavors that they've preemptively tuned me out. I can't talk to Jack when there are people around, least I look insane. So our conversation is set aside for the moment. Good. Because I need a moment to think. Firstly, the aud 
audacity of Ian to call like that. I know he didn't mean it, but I feel tricked. I mean, you did answer the phone. Didn't you look at your phone to see what the caller ID was or something? But secondly, after all this time, is this love? Does Jack really make me feel whole all on his own? I mean, he's got me in his pocket. Or is this just a hallucination too? Is this even real? Do I want to love a hallucination? Well, I mean, I love about 50 of them, so... Would it be so bad? It's not hurting anyone. And he has to be real, right? He made me pancakes. And then we... Uh, feel warm and molten to my core, thinking about what it could be like. Nobody seems interested in me right now, and I know I'm not interested in anyone else. He already sleeps with me. It's all been harmless up until now. But how deep does this go? How deep could this go? Am I really considering loving a ghost thing? Oh my god. I'm considering it enough to ask if I am. This is so far from where I thought I'd be right now. Well, hello there. Well, hello there, sir. How are you doing today? Oh, is this the guy who asks uh, if we're seeing anyone? We're gonna have to turn this guy down. Oh, this is the kind of guy I would want to be friends with when I was in high school. Hey, can we get these? Voice. Smooth. Nice. Oh, oh, that was like a knife in the side. Just like, hey, can we get these? Shink. Okay, maybe second playthrough. Right now, this is Jack's playthrough. <clears throat> uh, please. I mean... <laughs> yes! One of the guys, the real guys, sets down the last of three cups of frozen yogurt on the scale. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I get fussy with the register. I weigh them out. I get a piece of plastic. I swipe it. I give it back. And that's the end of that. Thank you. I wave as the customer's friends prepare to leave, but the one guy lingers. You, uh, you work here, right? <coughs> I'm sorry, I just, I can feel his voice in my chest. <laughs> I pluck at my name tag, jokingly. And also, as I said before, the I really wish I wasn't here right now button. Well, I did just ring you up. Cool. Cool. <laughs> he hums and haws a bit before grabbing his cup and leaving. Weird, but over, at least. Hopefully, they'll be the first one and the last for the day. Oh, he, do he doesn't ask if we're seeing anyone? Les sigh. The rain continues to waterfall outside the windows. Some might even say it was raining cats and dogs. The drum of the downpour is almost soothing in the stock stillness of the empty store. But I'm still on the clock, and that means there's no time to sit in an emotionally cryptic trance. Not when there's walnuts to chop and problems to ignore. So, who's Ian? He's a son of a biscuit. I excuse me? Ian, you mentioned him earlier, right? Oh. We were seated on the couch again, work done and over with, and shop closed for the night. I was tucked into Jack's form once again, polishing off a box of takeout I'd grabbed on my way home. Can Jack eat? Can he eat? It was a rough day, and contrary to popular media, takeout is actually a treat. I don't remember bringing him up with you, did I? He was probably listening at the door or something. Jack doesn't say anything. He looks thoughtful, maybe even worried. Did I ever tell Jack about Ian? Now that I thought about it, the subject really hadn't come up formally. Which is a bit odd, considering Ian's room remained mostly undisturbed and right across the hall from my own. It was the same as it had always been, minus what he took with him when he moved to a fancy performing arts school in another state. I hadn't been in there since the breakup, but had Jack never wondered either? You seemed really unnerved today. Hmm. This Ian. He's the one who hurt you today, wasn't he? Jack, hold on a second. 
Hold on a second, Jack. Not hurt. I push my food around the box, almost defensive by force of habit. Well, not today. I've never seen you like that. You've always been so happy with me. Oh, No, no, that's not always been the case. When he got here, I was a mess. He just came at the right time is all. Remember what I told you? About other people? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? You're very special, but sometimes... I don't know. I do worry about you. Worry? People like... him. Do you really think he's worth all this pain? Not really, but then again, I barely know the guy. What does he provide you to make all this worth it? That's not a simple answer. He never has to hurt you again. I can make sure of it. Jack! I don't like where this is going. Would you like me to make him go away for you? Jack! Mr. Sunny Day! Mr. Sunny Day! I feel my spine turn to jelly the way he says it. Maybe my head isn't on right, but he has no idea how nice that sounds. Me? Me? You're not thinking clearly, me. That's not what he means. I mean, I guess they are emotionally, uh, emotionally fragile right now. That they don't, they don't basically mean that Jack is outside pointing to a sign that says, Do you want me to kill them? It feels even better as one of his hands begins to firmly grasp and almost massage my shoulder, while the other snakes down my arm and takes my hand sweetly into his. I never want to think about these conflicting feelings ever again. Wouldn't it be funny if I could just erase these thoughts? Me and Ian, walking to school together in the snow. Our first dance, moving here even, coming to this place to be together, only for him to move away to his fancy college and... You don't miss him, do you? Oh, sunshine. He's really fooled you, hasn't he? He promised you the moon and all the stars. And I bet he did it so well. But what did it all amount to in the end? He doesn't love you. He can't love you. Nobody who can do what he's done to you knows what love even is. Getting a little salty there, Jack. <clears throat> Jack squeezes my hand, punctuating his words with soft affirmation. If he's what's holding you back from being truly happy with someone who loves you, Maybe it would just be better if I did something about it. Jack! Would you like that, Sunshine? I feel my lungs growing short of air, the way his hot breath feels against my ear and shoulder. I end up having to choke back a huge sigh-like breath, but it comes out more like an audible shudder. It's so warm now. Warm and foggy and hazy. Jack, are you doing something to me? Are you doing something? Are you cloudying up my town here? You better not be. You better not be doing something. I don't want to think right now. I don't know if I could. I can't help but think. Maybe it would be better if you could just... take control? No! No, me. No, it would not. Rise and shine, sleepyhead! Jack, I swear, if you're covered with blood, I will scream so loud and totally lose my marbles.